This is Chris Menard. Let me cover Microsoft Word Mail Merge. If you open my video up in YouTube, I recommend you click on Show More because I'm going to put bookmarks here because I'm going to do the Mail Merge for letters, envelopes, and then labels. So one more time, click on Show More and you'll see some bookmarks here. So let's get started. I have a Microsoft Excel file. I have my header row in row one. So this is the header row. I have 36 rows. So I should end up with 35 letters when I'm done. I have all the information needed to send everybody a letter. Names, address, city, state, zip, and some other information. And if you notice, the worksheet is called customers. So now start Microsoft Word. I already have it running. I have a blank document. I'm on the Home tab right now. Go to Mailings and click. Start Mail Merge. It's already set up for letters, but here's letters. Let's click it. Now I need to go find that Excel file. Select Recipients. If it's an Excel file, it'll be Use Existing List. Locate your file. It'll pop up and show you the worksheet. It was called Customers. First row contains column headers. Uh, it has to. Click on OK. And I'm going to just start typing a letter. I'm going to put in a date. And right here I'm going to put in their address. I can click on the arrow for Insert Merge Field. And there are all the fields from my header row. But since I'm putting in the address and I typed it in correctly, I can click on Address Block. Click OK. That's a field. And then you don't want to sit here and watch me type, so I act like this is something about the letter. But I do want to put in the letter how they found out about us, and that's the field source. So put in the source field, period, and here's some more information in the letter. But you can put in all these other fields if you wanted to. So then what you're going to do is click on Preview Results. And there's Peter Kelly. There's the word TV. Right up here are four arrows. This will take you to the right, next record. If you notice, they're changing. If you click on the fourth arrow across, it'll take you to the last record. I should get the number 35, correct? I'm going to go back to the first record. If the line spacing is bothering you, it's real simple to fix because the line spacing is now 1.15, so Control A. Go to the Home tab. Hit this arrow that says Left Align Center Line Spacing. Click it make it 1.0, click it again, remove space after paragraph. And then I'm going to sit here and I decided I want a little more space here and I want some space here and I could even come in here and type some more stuff. Here we go. If you notice before we finish this we have page one of one in the bottom left hand corner so I need to go back to mailings. You can turn preview results on and off all you want to. But the last step is finish and merge. You will not have this on your Word version. So act like it's not here. Finish and merge. Edit individual documents. Remember that I have one of one. Click OK. It makes a new Word document automatically, page 1 of 35 in the bottom left hand corner. You can scroll through and look at it if you want to. Let's say you found out you made a mistake before you print these. Simply close this document. No need to save it. And the mistake I made is at the bottom here I wanted my name.
I'm back to one of one. Finish and merge, edit, click OK again, and there are my 35 again. And then I would print these. I'm going to close this, don't save, and you could save this if you want to and since it's your master letter format if you wanted to use it later. But for right now, I'm going to just, I'm not going to save it, I'm going to close it, don't save, I'm going to make a new Word document, let's talk about envelopes, so here we go. Still go to mailings, start mail merge, envelopes. It should pull up and say size 10, which is the standard business. There you go, click OK. And I'm going to shrink down just for a second so you can see this. So it's no longer a letter, it's an envelope. Up at the top left corner, you could put in your return address. If it's already pre-printed and you're, you want it to come back to you for some reason, I'm going to put Department Training. And you kind of have to eye this and do it yourself. Select Recipients, Existing List, same steps as the letter right now. Desktop, should say Customers when it pops up. Click OK. There's my return click right around in here and you have this box address block click OK preview results and once again if you want to look through a few I have 35 finish and merge notice I have page one of one in the bottom left edit individual hit OK I have another Word document and I have 35 pages in the bottom left hand corner and there you go. Let's say once again you don't like it, close, don't save and here's what I didn't like. The uh, United States Postal Service ideally wants this all caps so I'm going to just simply highlight anyone's address, go to the word home, here's the font group, hit that arrow and do all caps click OK, back to mailings, finish and merge, edit, hit OK, and I'll end up with 35 in all caps. It worked. Amazing. And the last one is you need to do labels. So let me close this one. No need to save it. Act like I printed them. Close this one. Start a new Word document, and you know it's going to be mailings, mail merge, labels. You go to Office Depot, Staples, wherever you go. Notice it says Microsoft. Change this to Avery. U.S. Letter, and 5160 is very popular. Let's see if I can find it pretty quickly here. And of course it's taking me a second. There we go. 5160. Click OK. I've already done this before so let me show you this step. When you put in labels it always does a word table. If you notice it says table tools. Click on the word layout and it says view grid lines. You, you don't have to but I recommend you just turn them on. It makes it easier to work. So view grid lines, they're on. I'm going to go back to mailings, select recipients, existing, find your file, hit OK, address block, hit OK, preview results. If you notice it only did the first label, just click on update labels. Let me turn that off for a second. You notice it just says next record, next record. When you click update labels, now it says next record address block preview. There's that line spacing again that I don't like. So I'm going to go back, 
preview results, highlight the first one, home, line spacing 1.0, and line spacing remove after. So it's up to you about this line spacing. And just so I make sure the labels come out right, I'm going to press uh, shift, hold down shift and press enter and that moved it down one time. I'll do that again. I'm going to undo. Shift, enter. Go back to mailings. Update labels. You got to update labels again. And there I go. And the last step is always finish and merge, edit individual, click OK. I should have 30 labels a page, so I'm hoping I end up uh, with two pages of labels, page one of two. I hope that helps on doing a Microsoft Mail Merge from Excel for letters, envelopes, and labels. Remember to click on Show More and you'll see the bookmarks that I have listed Thank you for your time.